Hi, this is a new YouTube channel about robotic welding. There are many YouTube channels about manual welding that give you lots of tricks and tips, but here we will focus on robotic welding. We plan to release regularly, so subscribe and also add comments and our expert engineers will get back to you with some input. We are now in the robotic welding laboratory and we can experiment here. This is the Abadji Lab. Abadji is a multinational company employing about 40 programmers and engineers in Europe and the US. They have developed proprietary software for robot management and it means no more programming. So let's take a walk through the lab. Abadji software is compatible with major robotic welding equipment. According to the philosophy of the company, you can choose what equipment you like. This lab houses three of the most popular robotic brands. We have Fanuc, Japanese. We have Kuka, originally German, now Chinese. And we have Yaskawa, a Japanese company. And here we will do our experiment. What you will see is a six axis industrial robot. This is from Yaskawa. Look at their hollow arm. Inside is all the cables. This is very important to avoid collisions and to maximize robot reachability. This is a two-axis positioner. It means that we can rotate the piece and ensure reachability of the robot and specific weld type. This is the welding machine. In this case, it's ESAB. Abadji is compatible with different robot brands and different welding machines. Here we have ESAB. Over there is Fronius. By the way, the guys in this lab carry out R&D for the equipment manufacturers themselves. So, they're really at the forefront of robotic development. Abadji installs specific additional equipment on the cell. The software, in this context, comes through a touch panel, but any computer or laptop and internet access will do. Secondly, Abadji has installed this robot with machine vision. As you can see here, the scanner is attached. It's a compact scanner and it's right here on the flange. And finally, this over here is where the Abadji software is housed in this box. So to sum up, if you've got non-standard equipment, what you need is machine vision and software. Let's try to weld something. Let's pick a simple workpiece. Now, as you can see, there are some very simple weld zones. Now I think it's time to bring in an engineer. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Great. So, at first we need to fix it, okay? Mm -hmm. So it will not fall mm -hmm. while we weld. This is not yet rocket science, guys, okay? It's a proper clamp. Yep. Good. Please check. Solid? Okay, good. Yeah. So... All right. The veggie software. Let's go. Yeah, we... We need to check the, uh, whether we have this 3D model mm -hmm. for the workpiece. Let us check the first one. Great. Yeah, look at that. Seems That's like it. exactly what we need, right? That's perfect, yeah. Great. Boom. So now, what uh, seems you want to weld? How about this guy here? Okay. And here? So what we need now is to set up proper welding configuration. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, now we just uh, choose the welds. Now we need to, how the welding will happen. Okay, okay. Uh, I believe that we will want to use PA position for this. And PA, PA. is uh, when the detail is positioned like this. Uh -huh. So when you weld, 
Yeah. The metal is just flow, ah, flat, becomes and flat. The stuff it, comes down like this. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Ah. So using we, gravity as your friend. Yes. Ah. So we change this um, to PA. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see that if you need, if you're a mm. welding expert, you may choose different work angle, travel angle, different parameters uh -huh, lovely. and offsets. But it seems from this oh, picture good. that it, it is exactly what we need. And this model that we're working with here, that's been uploaded earlier. Yes, yeah? yes. Uh -huh. So it should be prepared by someone. Usually in the production, you have these 3D models already. So right. quite yeah, often. Okay, they already exist from, yes. the, yes. from the manufacturer. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay, so it seems that everything is what we want. Looks good. Okay, save. Save. And um, do we want to see the animation before the welding? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, very good. good. Oh, this looks... Are you getting this? This looks lovely. This is a yeah. digital twin. Uh -huh. We call it a digital twin. Right. And it has exactly what we programmed. The, Fabulous. The work piece yeah, we can see the, the work robot. piece. We can see the seams there, which we plan to do. Mm -hmm. All right, great. That's enough pinching. What next? Uh, next, we need to wait a bit mm -hmm. for the... Uh, uh, program to compute all of the trajectories. Oh, just a minute or two, okay. Yes. Uh, while we're waiting, could you tell me like the difference between normal serial production and what I just did? Like I picked a workpiece yeah. and I just put it freely on, somewhere. Yeah, freely on the zone. Absolutely, yeah. So, and, yeah. and then you just click here, uh -huh. weld, and it will weld, okay? Right. But it is not the conventional way. Usually, Sorry, yeah. you do it differently. Okay. Usually, you need to make this mm -hmm. pitch pendant. And uh, currently, it's in remote state. So, yeah. it, actually, the robot is controlled by our software. And, and then we need to, by using these buttons, mm -hmm. program each position mm. of the uh, torch neck. Yeah. And uh, for quite like complex uh, workpiece, it will take hours. Mm -hmm. And then when you will uh, program it for one detail, you may reuse it right. for like the next one. And it is uh, used for automobiles, programmed once, and then they start work and work and work again. So if you had a workpiece which was going to be replicated many thousands of times, it makes sense to be able to use this older technology and go frame by frame like an animator maybe maybe yeah. but you may also use a budget for it uh-huh it doesn't harm okay okay and harm. today we definitely need a badgie because i just put it there yes and i'm trusting on the machine vision to do a lot of the work for exactly. us yes okay oh i think it's ready we need to get the control back. Uh -huh. It's ready. Let's see what we have, okay? I play, I... This is the animation. Ah, oh, yeah. So we see the positional, positional rotates. Mm -hmm. Exactly like uh, we will see in future. This is what's going vision. to happen. And then the big Terminator thing comes out. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. And then it's going to tap the zones to get the proper position. And yes. then it's going to start spraying goo. And it, it's, called, uh, it's called touch sensing, you see? Uh -huh. Here. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So if your, if, your, if your workpiece is coarsed, then we will identify it right. on this stage. So it started. So this is just the, uh, what do you call it, the um, pre show yes it's a pre-show it's a visualization uh, all right so we may understand whether what we will achieve finally is what we what we need right okay so just to be on the safe side yeah, yeah, see? Yeah. but actually in production you you don't need this mm -hmm. you may rely on that we already produce good trajectories and so on cool 
So we will not uh, stay until the end of this of yeah, the yeah, movie, sure, yeah. okay? We will go back, uh, run. Run. Let's do the real stuff, okay? Add yeah, to sell. Add to sell. Add to sell. Okay. Okay. So let's move to the operator, uh, operator screen. Operator is uh, the this. lightning. Board. Yes, lightning. Uh -huh. Good. So you see that there is one like a task yes. for the cell in the queue. That's right. You may just press start. If I press start, everything starts. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So yeah. now it will plan all all, all of the. Mm -hmm. Movements, uh, it will do exactly what we saw on animation. You see? Without welding. Yes. It says welding in it. Yes. Currently it will weld. It will weld? Not not right now. Mm -hmm. Currently it identifies where the real uh, workpiece is on the position. Okay. And we will see later the real vision data. It's alive. It's alive. So now it has all the data inside and it asks us for confirming. Please press the... Yes, okay, yes. Lovely. Ah, look at this. Please rotate. Please so rotate. rotate this guy. Yes. Are oh, you going to see this? This is brilliant. The, um, you got to see the, uh, the mapping here uh, on screen. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got to see this. This is a like a dot diagram. And so what does green mean? The green means that what we see from the vision device is uh, where is what we expect. Mm -hmm. So it uh, matches pretty well with a 3D model. How about red? The red is like, um, you see, it's, uh, it's uh, a bit far a bit far from the model, but anyway, when we average all of the data, yeah. when we compare with the model, uh -huh. we are pretty good at positioning it automatically. So you see, it's uh, different from the standard position. It's not yeah. uh, positioned uh, uh, axis aligned at the moment, okay? Yeah. It's positioned somehow, exactly how we see it, with um, the exact rotation we see. Yeah. And this is a fixture, we understand, we identified it because Slant, it's yeah. very, very important for our trajectories okay. because we we don't want the collision to happen, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that nozzle needs to get around the clamp, yes. get things done and uh, not dash into anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it ready? Confirm. Confirm selection. Press for Press one second. One second. Okay, yeah. Good. Uh -huh. It is uh, currently starting planning the trajectories mm -hmm. and then it will weld. I like the interface here, by the way. Simple, uh, right? Speaking of smartphones, it's very much like, you know, buying something on uh, an online store, you know, you, firm. And, yeah, you may you click go. somewhere to uh -huh. see what's happening. Oh, yeah? Yeah, not to be alone while waiting. Mm. That now is the positioner, the uh, axial positioner. The nozzle is coming in, and the we uh, it, 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 the yeah, scene, yeah. It, it cuts right. it cuts the the wire a uh -huh. bit to make sure that the mm -hmm. length of the wire is exactly what we need. We are close. We are close. close yeah. Right, yeah, show time. Come closer. You may actually see that the metal is floating there. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Oh, brilliant. So now it will go to the second seam. Mm -hmm. You may come here for a better view. 
Show starts. Wanna come? Come here. Great. Right. That's all. Very stunning. Exactly, robots with uh, artificial intelligence, right? At least it doesn't have legs, you don't be worried about it. Now. Yes, so let us, uh, let us okay. check the welds. All right. You like them? Yes, we got a nice pot weld here. Try to touch it. Ah, uh, try. The seam. Try to touch it. Uh, the machine. <laughs> it was a joke, it's very hard, it's very hot at the moment. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so. Let us look closer. Yeah. You see, this is called crater. Crater? Yeah, crater. Okay. Like on the moon. That's right. And, and we'll we actually... Have a crater. Yes. And uh, because we welded them in a way that the start of the one scene is the end of the second, mm -hmm. then these uh, points are filled with metal quite good. Right. Okay. So how do we shut it down? What do we do? We may, uh, we may do this like just put another workpiece and do the same. Yes, uh, because we already set up everything. It will do everything without our attention. Okay. But uh, so far we are good with this workpiece. It's already done. So if this was um, a project and I wanted to do a dozen or a couple of hundred of these, you know, joints from my um, barbecue machine or something. I could load the program, do it like that, and save a lot of time. Yes, you may actually turn on the batch mode in our software. Batch mode. Yes, so it actually uh, suggests that the, the part is of the same type, mm -hmm. but it might be s like some smaller changes there. Yeah, and it, it just confirms that everything like is similar and w without replanning all of the trajectories. Yeah. So we will save time uh, for the planning. It will just start welding from the beginning. Yeah, yeah it just uh, will do one snapshot of this. Uh, so it well, confirmed that it's actually this type of detail and so on cool. to, to be on the safe side. And you will just put another workpiece, mm. start, run. It will run without any confirmation yeah. from you. Run again, again, again. That's great. Yeah. Well, I've never seen anything like it before. And it's really impressive stuff. So thanks for giving the demo. Thank you. Cheers. Actually, one second. I'm not fully convinced. And I think it would be fun to come back next time and do it the old fashioned way with the teach pendant and compare that to the new innovation. Could you come back next time and bring another engineer? And... You want to be, a, you want to have a side by side comparison? Yeah, that would be great. Way without any tricks? Let's do it. Okay. So, thanks. So see you next time. And if you have any comments on this, what you've seen today, just put them in and our experts will get back to you. But until then, bye.